I'm going to say something outrageous today. Starbucks, any business, any private business, should be able to send anyone out they want if they don't like the way they look, if they don't feel right. Uh, this whole subconscious racism thing with the Starbucks, look, and I don't know the manager, I don't know what's in their heart, right? I don't know whether they thought those guys looked like they might be getting ready to rob the place. I, I don't know, right? But clearly, the white folk in that room defended them, right? And then you have the marketplace reacting. We don't, shouldn't have laws anymore about this. We should let the marketplace, if I want to keep out um, uh, new Black Panthers, right, who come into my place, that's my right. I know it's my business. What's wrong with that? Well, the problem is, what's wrong with that is, it's unconstitutional. And it is against the law of the land to discriminate against anyone, especially because of their race. So racial discriminatory practices are not only unconstitutional, they're illegal. But what's discriminatory what happened, about it, Claudio? Well, let's talk about that. You had two black men sitting in Starbucks. They had not ordered yet. And the manager felt that they were two men sitting there who had not placed the order. And the manager got afraid that perhaps they're here for some other nefarious reasons or activity. And so she called, or the manager called, the police. The police came, arrested both men for trespassing. Because they refused they, to leave. But they told the police, we're waiting on a third person before we place our order. While the police was there, the third person walks up, and that black man was arrested. This was nothing more than a classic case of racial profiling. And now Kevin Johnson, the CEO of Starbucks, who's been a quote-unquote big-time liberal supporter, is now saying, I want to meet with you, and let's find a good way to fix this problem. Well, what's wrong but with that? yet, the CEO, Mr. Johnson, will not fire the manager for the racial profiling and calling those black men to be caused victims of an arrest that was illegal and false. That manager should not only be fired, Starbucks should cover all of the legal expenses for those brothers being falsely arrested. All right, well, first of all, they weren't falsely arrested if they refused to leave a place and the, and the, and the Starbucks, if Starbucks wanted to press charges, the police didn't do anything wrong. They came here, the manager said they were trespassing, they refused to leave, they got arrested. But this the police whole... are not the problem here. The problem is the racial profiling by the manager and Kevin Johnson, CEO of Starbucks, refusing to say what the discipline is for that manager. Mr. Johnson, you should fire the manager. To you three brothers who were arrested, I would not meet with Mr. Johnson until that manager is fired because if he doesn't fire the manager he ain't doing a damn thing to truly send a message that Starbucks has a zero tolerance policy for racial profiling. I say let the marketplace decide these kind of things. I don't think there should be any laws regarding this. I think it's your private business. Look, I think it's outrageous. If because someone was thrown dude, out because they were doing, black. What you're doing, you're really trying to justify no, racial no, segregation. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not I think it's disgusting that any business would throw at anyone. Thank what you just said earlier. You no, just said they should have a no, right to do it. No, I think a Now, you want to clean it up now. No, a private company should have the right to say, I don't want you Look, in my business. Go on, go on back home and put on your clan hood and come oh, back so come everybody on, can really just see the truth. Really? Come on, get your clan hood and come on back to the set. All right, I'll borrow yours.